Competitor number 10, Cognitive Grocery Game. Hi everyone, my name is Sue Lee. I'm an occupational therapist from the Glen Rose Rehabilitation Hospital in Edmonton. I'd like to give you some food for thought. Did you know that every four seconds, another person is diagnosed with dementia? And for optimal outcomes, each of these individuals should begin treatment immediately. The care for these eight million new patients per year is creating a gigantic need and huge market for our Glen Rose grocery game. The, grocery, the Glen Rose grocery game was developed by a group of therapists, computer scientists, and engineers to support the recovery of older adults with cognitive difficulties. The initial prototype of our game is based on the concept of shopping for ingredients to make a meal for a celebrity dinner guest that's coming. The game addresses functional ability in memory, attention, and problem solving, which are skills necessary for everyone to function in everyday situations. Initial user feedback on the game from our patients and staff have indicated that the game is enjoyable, easy to interact with, and is a relevant subject matter for them. Our group has also recently received positive feedback and input from Dr. Jay McGonigal, who is a recognized expert in the development of games for health. Hi, I'm Gary Faulkner. I'm the director of research at this hospital, and we're supporting the development of this particular game. The reason we're supporting is that we believe that this is a very unique game that's being developed with our patients who have dementia, with our therapists who are treating them, and tested with other patients. We think this makes it completely reliable, will allow it to be used in continuing situations, and we also hope that with further clinical study, we'll be able to use this as part of the tools that are used for the actual diagnosis of dementia. If we are fortunate enough to win today's prize, the intention is to use the funds to further evaluate the game and to look at expanding its use to other uh, populations with cognitive difficulties. Once that is done, then we plan to engage through our innovation hub appropriate commercial partners to decide where is the best and most appropriate places to market and distribute. This is part of our ongoing strategy at the Glen Rose to be leaders in serious games for health. We have had several others in different areas and this will form part of that group. The winning of today's prize will allow our Glen Rose Grocery Game team to quickly and effectively respond to those new, safe, new clients that are coming every four seconds. We want the grocery game to be there for them. Thank you. Questions? There, Peter at the front. Are you guys looking at it as uh, creating a business out of it, or are you guys just going to, is your goal to make this a game that's available to everyone, or do you want to get uh, paid for it? Yes and yes. Um, we certainly want to get paid for it, that's for sure. The nice thing about games, of course, is that they can be um, used on various platforms. They can also be uh, relatively inexpensive. So it's our hope that we will not only meet a healthcare need, but we will actually um, generate funds to help us keep with our strategy of using gaming for improving health. I had a question. Um, I was wondering at the occupational level, does this uh, target executive functioning skills or or just memory skills? And and then the, set, the B part of that question is, can this be used not only for dementia, but maybe for autism patients and people with other developmental and coordination difficulties sure. or something? 
So I think I can answer that question. Um, so definitely executive functioning um, is what we're looking for actually in, in this game. Uh, we just mentioned memory and attention and problem solving is just some of the components of the cognition that we are looking at. But overall, we are looking at executive functioning. How does someone plan, sequence, and complete a task from start to finish? And how much help do they need with it? That's really what we're concerned with as occupational therapists. And to answer your question in terms of do we see it expanding more out of geriatrics, we definitely do see um, that being possible, um, looking not just at dementia, but cognitive impairment in any population. It could be someone who has a brain injury or, or a stroke uh, a patient or yes, even, even a young adult who's going to be moving out of their parents' home and will need to be functioning independently in the community. It's definitely got utility there. Thank you. Hi, Cynthia Mannion. Um, I'd just like to say that there are people who don't know how to shop. There are some people of a gender who never go into a grocery store and that perhaps the game could also have widespread use for those people so that they can learn how to negotiate a, a grocery store because grocery stores are set up in a particular manner. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Any other questions? When are you going to launch it in the App Store? Yeah. When are we going to launch it in the App Store? Yep. I don't know. Once it's developed, or I guess maybe. <laughs> Gary, timeline? That's a good question, and, and right now we're using it on a touch surface, and, and that uh, is a, a nice surface for the, some of the populations that we're working with. But we don't see why it couldn't be scaled and used uh, fairly effectively on an iPad or, or, or a smartphone. So, yeah, we'd like to have it in the App Store. Uh, Brad Prince, I was wondering if you guys have done any studies or have any data as to uh, perhaps a quantitative impact on people who have participated in, with this game. Um, yeah, so kind of along the whole step of the way in, in all the different phases of the game, we've been testing it on our patients, even staff and the general public in our hospital. And I mean, we haven't done a big full study, but the, the feedback that we've been getting is Thank pretty positive. Much. So Thank you.